Now we're gonna do, now we're gonna do volume of prisms and cylinders. Ooh. Volume of prisms and cylinders. We'll start with a square prism. So you notice this is half of my square. All right. I'm gonna extend to prism. There you go. Whoa. Hopefully you're getting better. Do you practice? Me? Yeah. Well, it's my job, so I guess I'm practicing on the job. <laughs> and now we have the back lines dotted for perspective. Here we go. Oh, perspective. Coming down. Okay, now, we're going to do the volume. The volume. Fortunately for us, the formula is very straightforward. We're going to understand why the formula works. If you would be so kind, when you're done drawing, show me the alligator. Oh. Show me the alligator. What? what? Do you eat about, do you sting alligators or do they eat you? What? I stay away from them generally. They have, their oh. their skin is very rough. Yeah. I can't get through this. <laughs> they make tough the shells. They're tough. So here we go. Show us the alligator. Oh. The alligator, okay? Now, remember the definition of prism is that you create any face you want, any base in this shape. What's our base? The bottom rectangle. Yep. So let's call it a square, okay? square. Let's make it a square. So we'll do four and four, let's say, for example. Mm. Definition of prism, you create that base in a three-dimensional plane like this, all right? So it's the same top like of the like Yeah, and you create this, you create a shape, a three-dimensional shape inside. You can go like this, any, any way you want, all right? The, uh, now, yay big. do you agree that if we want the volume, I want you to think of this conceptually, because right, it's really going to change your whole perspective for any time to do this for the rest of your life. Mm. Volume is the space inside. If volume is the space inside, would it make sense that we get the area of the bottom? What's the area of the bottom? It, 16. It is 16. 16. And then we ask ourselves how many times we can stack the 16 up to the top. Oh. That's like a face of 16, right? This is one face of 16. One face of 16 at the bottom. And then I was like, how many 16s can we stack, 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 all the way to the top? That is all the space inside. Mm. Does that make sense conceptually? If you think of them like sheets, sheets of 16, how many 16 sheets will fit up, 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 up in a way? Or like building blocks. Yeah, yeah. How many building blocks will fit in, like say if you were like building inside like yeah. a, a certain, like a dome or something like that, how tall could you go until That's you get right. to the top? That's right, so you get the area of the bottom and you find out how many of those you need to stack okay. one on top of the other to get to the top of that dome. So, dome. Dome. <laughs> also a honeycomb shape, if you look at. Oh, yeah. Epcot Center. Check oh, me out. By the oh, way. those are triangles. Never mind. Those are my friends, oh. the wasps. <laughs> so, uh, the formula for the volume of any prism is simply the area of the base, big B. Big B. <laughs> times how many up does it go? 16. That's the that's sixteen. Oh, oh. So then by ten. What do you think the ten is called? The that's the height. Line. It is the height. Yeah, it is the line represented, but we call it the height. Okay. And that's all it is for any prism. Any prism. Again, remind me. Definition of prism. Same shape. Pull apart, right? So that could be a triangle down there. We'll do that next. So like it wouldn't be like a, a, a pyramid. Like it would. Correct. Not be Pyramid is not a prism. We'll do that okay. next. Pyramid is not a prism. Prism is same shape, top and bottom. So it'd be like like a rectangular prism. Yeah. Mean, a, rectangular a, a prism. triangle one. Like triangular you, prism. You basically have a triangle and you just go like this. We'll do that next. Or you know, like have yeah. a, like a square and you put or square, a square. Yes. A square cylinder? Prism. Would it be a cylinder? Cylinder is technically, it's called a cylinder, but it has the same attributes. It has the same attributes as a prism. Yeah, because it's okay. the same shape. What's the bottom base? Circle. Yeah. And, then and it just pull apart. And it's the same formula. It's awesome. So cool. It's cool. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this. What is the volume of this shape? Oh. That's 10 times 16. It is. Equals. 160. 160. 160. Units to what degree? Volume is one more? Third. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. The reason why is because it's units times units times units. Mm -hmm. I'll show you actually. Let's go. Units here, units here, units here. It's 4u times 4u times 10u. That's Three U's multiplied. Oh, so when you got the 16, you just found the area of the bottom. Yes, that would be 16. So you don't have square. to find the area of the bottom? 
but it's easier just to make it simpler and more. Fluid. Yeah, you don't have to do anything. Well, yeah, because you could just do four and four, and then it would make sixteen. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and now many of the books say that the volume is base, base. They do base times width times height. Yeah, I reject this. Mm -hmm. I think it's sort of uh, empty. It's empty. It doesn't. It doesn't talk about the wisdom behind how this works. It's about stacking up to the top of the dome. It doesn't do that. This does. This does. Yay, math does. Yay, math does. You do. <laughs> you. Aww. So let's do a triangular prism. What was, that, what was that song oh. you were singing like in the beginning of the episode or whatever? Like it was like a bee song. It was so I like a bumblebee. Oh, by the way, there is a song <laughs> called Smack Dab. I, look, I just looked it up. There's a song called Smack Dab by some by someone who is chasing crazy. That's I'm us. southern girl. Okay, let's go a right triangle. Right triangular prism. Let's go up here. Yeah. Let's make it an easy right triangle. What's the easiest right triangle you can think of? 30, 60, 90. 45, 45, 45, 45 90. 90. That's true. There's easier than that. 60, 60, 60. 45, equilateral. 45. Equilateral, that's true. You could oh, 60, do that. 60, oh. I'll give, can I give you a hint? Three. Three, four, five. Four. <laughs> All right, we have a right angle down here. And we have back lines. And still drawing line. my bud. Yeah. Yeah, back it's line too there. Slanted. And let's make the height 10 again. No sweat. This is called a what type of prism? 345. What 345 is the type equilateral. of? Equilateral. It's not an equilateral. Equilateral is all sides yeah. the same. What type of shape is the bottom? That's all I'm asking. Oh, triangle. So what kind of prism? Turn triangle into triangular prism. Correct. You turn triangle into an adjective. Triangular prism. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Square, um, this one's hard to draw. Square prism, rectangular prism, yeah. Triangular prism, hexagonal prism, all kinds of prism. Yeah, any shape that you extend out. Yeah. Did I lose you? I don't think yeah. I did, okay. Yeah. I got you. Thank you for being honest. What's the formula for the volume of any prism? Base times height. What about the base? Well, we have to find the area of the base first. Area of the base, that's what I was asking. Yeah. Area of the base. That's why, is that why it's capital? Yes. Thank you for clarifying. What type of shape is the base? It is a triangle, so it's one half base times height. Which would be, can I say it? Yeah. Uh, can I draw the triangle on the bottom yeah. of the base? Yeah. You can. So let's put it here. Drawing in two dimensions, three, four. Do we need to know what the hypotenuse is? We don't, no. We could get it using Pythag. We don't really And know. we also know it's a three, four, five right triangle. Using Pythagorean theorem, we get that. But we don't need it. What is the base of that triangle? It is 12. Wait. I know what you mean. I know what you mean, but what's the base technically here? <laughs> uh, sorry, I got confused. Sorry. Four. Four. Now look, you could look at it this way and say the base is three. So that part is interchangeable. Yeah. Remember before? So it's And it's it, multiplication, so it's the um what's that what's that property? Starts on the C. The uh con so I know I it's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> this is good. Think of, think of driving to work or school. A commutative problem. Yes, commute. To commute is to move. To move things around. That's right. To commute is to move. So I can move the three and the four, no sweat. I can move them. So what is that? Oh, it's 12. Time. But uh, by the way, is one half is six. 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 The area of the base is six. Oh, Times yeah. the height of the prism is. Let's put centimeters now. So we have different, different feel. Times the height is 10. ten. Total volume is 60. sixty. What units? Units. Oh, I put centimeters lap. Just oh, lap. Just now. Centimeters cubed. Centimeters, cube. centimeters cube. Bravo. That's done. Questions? Volume is kind of more straightforward in a way. Once you understand, it's area base times the number of stacks. Does this shape have the same attributes as a prism? Same attributes as it a does. prism. It does. Well, because you, if you open it up. Yes, you open it up. That's what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Same base, top and bottom? It is. Yes, it does. Do you mean that we can get the area of this bottom base? Yeah. Which is a circle. Yeah. And multiply it by the height? Oh, yeah. wait. We're still in the same. Uh, no, we're drawing a cylinder now. So the yeah. volume of a cylinder is also 
Big B oh. times height. Oh, so it's still part of the same lesson. It's like yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Prisms and cylinders. Okay, coming down. What is the area of the base? Let's find it. What would you like the? Uh, Diamond. So let's have a little fun. Circumference. Is the radius going to be given? I'm going to make it mix it up now. Okay. Circum suppose circumference is 18 pi. And suppose. Mm. I know. Radius. Mm. Is so it's a solve. Yeah. So the radius is nine. Yep. Okay. If the radius is nine, um, what is the area of the base then? The area of the base is 36. Ooh. Or uh, 81. I know what you mean. Say it. 81 pi. Correct. So if circumference is 18 pi, circumference equals. Wait, how do you get the radius? Pi times diameter. Yeah. Which is 18 pi equals pi times the diameter. Is it safe to say that the diameter is 18 if the circumference is 18 pi? Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about it? Are you okay? I'm kind of confused. Okay. Circumference is 18 pi. How do you get circumference? T equals pi d. Pi d, very good. So that's the formula there. If you know that the circumference is 18 pi, I plugged 18 pi into circumference right here. Cool. And if that's the case, 18 pi is the result of pi times the diameter. Okay. So what must the diameter be in order to result to 18 pi? 18. Diameter is 18, it's correct. Okay. Thus radius is 9, half of that. Comfortable? Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Yay. <laughs> so that one's oh, in oh. here. <laughs> Everyone else that does it, it sounds like they're like worried about yeah. something. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Nine squared. 81 pi. Putting it down. 81 pi. Um. All right, this is going to mess with you. Oh, no. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> no. Yeah, your math is supposed to be healthy. Yes. You're not doing it right. Uh, can you do it, Cornelius? Look at your Cornelius. No, your bell pepper. All right. Uh, time is fast. 15. OK. Do you agree that we need the height in order to complete this volume. Indeed. Do you agree the height's not given yet? Yet. Do you agree that we have 15 here is the distance from the top to the edge? Mm -hmm. And do you agree that we also know this? What is this? Nine. Nine. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's true. Is it a 30, 60, 90? If it were 30, 60, 90, we would. Is there any evidence that it's a 30, 60, 90? Well, on the top, it's a circle, so it's 360 degrees around the top. That's true. Top, so then you cut it in half and you, it'll be... Um, Oh, wait, no. It may not be half. I like where your mind is going, though. It may not be half. Okay. Because it could go at any angle down. Okay. But we do have two sides of what type of triangle? Go ahead. You have two sides of a uh, 9, 13, or 9, uh, 12, 15. I, what is a 9, 12, 15 um, triangle? They're all, uh, per uh, not perfect pairs. Um, they're all, they all form a kind of a... Oh, yeah. I'm going to redraw the triangle. It's like a 3, 4, 5 multiplied by one number. It is. It is. It totally is. It's Indeed. a 3, 4, 5 multiplied by 3. It is. It totally is. That's what, when I was going like this, I was like, times what, times what? I was doing it in my mind. It's the same thing. I'm, it's not, I'm not doing anything special. I was doing a 3, 4, 5 times 3. I was. And then I basically got it. I got it. It's a 3, 4, 5. We'll even put it down. 3, Four. Well, you said William put it down. Five. <laughs> William. <laughs> William Shakespeare. So this is times three, making this a what? Twelve. Twelve. That's right. That Any questions about three, four, five times three? William <laughs> and now this is twelve. Twelve. What's eighty-one times twelve? Uh, I got you. I got you. No, I got you first. Put it down. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what? 972. 972 pi units cubed. That's what you get, emergency bag. Any questions? Questions. All right. Last one. Questions. Questions. My friend Qua, back in the day. 
Qua, if you're watching right now, I say hi. <laughs> Qua, we wish you nothing but the best. I love you, Qua.